Hey guys, I'm Rehane, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how we can use Tab Target View Library in Kotlin. Let's start. Tab Targets are animation views for Android that highlight specific views. You can use it with views that are important to you. Also, I want to use shared preferences for saving a state of a show to user or not. Okay, uh, first of all, need to add library into my Gradle. Okay, let's do it here. I just added a uh, view binding before. Just let's sync it. And then I want to add icon here. I guess yes, this icon is good for us. So here. And also I want to set image view. I yes. is good yes this one and parent button button of parent and end of parent and the start the start of parents oh okay good so let's create another view i want to have floating action button yes again i want to use this icon at the end end of parent oh, no bottom bottom of parents I want to set margin for this view. Okay, so far so good. Here, let me add view binding. Yes. Okay, great. And then I can pass it here. Great. Okay, guys, now I want to create some variable for my shared preferences. Uh, guys, if you don't know anything about shared preferences, I recorded a video before uh, you can find in the channel. And also I put the link in top of uh, the video and also uh, put the link into the description. I recommend it to see that video first and then you can come back and see this video. So here, yes, short preferences and also I want the other variable for editor. Let me Yes, I guess uh, now is better. Okay, here. Share preferences get. I want to create my key. Here, I should uh, put the name of key. And here I should set the mode. I want to use um, mode private. So, yes. And brief editor. Shared preferences dot edit. Great. 
Okay, guys. Uh, first, I want to show uh, my tab target view for this view and then this view. So I want to have a function five prompts. Yes, is good. I can create the function here. I want to check um, if I have already show tab target view to user or not. If shared preferences and here should uh, just let me yes and here I should pass this key so here let me okay and false here we can see tab target view dot show for for this activity and then i should add uh, my view i want to show this tab target view for which view so i guess i didn't set yes i didn't set id for my view so let me do that And here, okay. Here, so I said uh, for first time, I want to uh, show the tab target view for my floating action bot. Okay, so tab target dot for view. Here, I should pass my first view okay guys here i can set title or also can set description for this target so let's do it and the other one for description let's me yes guys here uh, there are some option that we can use it for customize uh, our tab target view so here you can see I prepare an article and a medium I put the link on the description on that article I explain each of these option okay here I just want some of them okay dot circle r dot color oh sorry r dot color dot i guess purple this one is good also i can change text color again r dot color that let me put it this one here okay so far so good and then if user click on it it should go to this view how we can do it here there is a, a listener and also there is a method on target click and we can use it Target view dot listener. Okay, great. Here, sorry, I forgot to. This one, guys. Okay. Here, I want to call another function for my second view. Show image.
Okay, let's create this function here. Okay, good. Also, I can copy this part of code and put it here and change this one for our image view and just let me add here and also for the description okay and guys here when our tab target view is done I should pass through for my shirt preferences variable why because in the second run of our application we don't want to show again this feature to user so let's do it pref editor shirt preferences dot edit here pref editor dot put boolean i should pass this key and then true great and the last part i should apply the code okay guys everything is done now we can run our application and see the result of our code okay guys our application run and you can see the result of our code here you can see i put a color for my text and also I put a color for this circle when I click on the fab button next should uh, show me a view target uh, for this image view and then if I run again for second time it should not uh, show me tab target view so let's do it here you can see and here this code is wrong and now and run it again doesn't show me okay guys uh this video so short and quick video i hope it's useful for you if you are new in the channel please subscribe the channel like my video and leave me comment if you have any question please don't hesitate ask me in the comment section have a nice day